Hi, today I will be showing you how to make confetti pancakes. This is a request that I received from my seven-year-old son this morning. So first you wanna make sure you have Fruity Pebbles, pancake mix, milk, butter, a container, and whisk. So to start, start off, you're gonna wanna put your pancake mixture into a container. I'm using a measuring cup here. Um, I added about one cup, um, and this is gonna make about three pancakes. Next, you wanna add your milk. Um, usually I don't measure my milk um, before adding it to the mixture. I usually add it, only add enough, uh, what I think is enough, and then I mix it and see if it's too, too thick. If it's too thick, I add more milk. If I feel that it is too runny, then I add more pancake mixture. So after mixing up the uh, pancake mixture in the milk, um, and removing all of the lumps, this is the consistency that I have. So I'm removing the whisk and um, I'm gonna let the mixture sit for about two to three minutes. This will allow the mixture to um, expand, which will cause the pancakes to cook and be more fluffy. Um, if I would just put it in the skillet right now, then they would be a little bit more runnier. And I, I wanna make sure that we have fluffier pancakes this morning now it's not going to be huge like one inch but the longer you let it sit the fluffier your pancakes will be so that's just a little tip so if you're wondering where we got this recipe from it's because we went on vacation over the last weekend and we stopped at cracker barrel and my son wanted to try the confetti pancakes and whenever it came out, it looked pretty neat. And I realized it was just pancake mix um, with Fruity Pebbles inside of it. So I thought to myself, I can make this for him. So now, since it has set, um, you can't really see the bubbles in there, but there there are some bubbles that's in there, which, which made me realize that, okay, it's been sitting long enough. So I'm going to add about one fourth of a cup of fruity pebbles to this mixture i did not want to add too much to where it would just become overwhelming um and just kind of take over everything so i thought i would start off with one fourth of a cup see if it was enough and if it wasn't i was going to add more but i thought it was great so now I'm going to whisk it in. Um, now I am doing this very lightly. I'm, I'm being careful. I'm trying to make sure that I don't crush the Fruity Pebbles um, because I want them to uh, remain in, remain the same size as they are, you know, whenever you're just eating the cereal. So I mix it all in, make sure that I coat all of the Fruity Pebbles, make sure that the um, some of the Fruity Pebbles have reached towards the bottom of the mixture that way whenever I pour it it'll be even it'll be distributed even evenly throughout the pancakes next um, I will take about a tablespoon of butter and add into a skillet you can't see that right now but that is what I am doing um, you have to let your butter melt and once you let the butter melt then you you want to move your skillet around to where the butter coats the bottom of the skillet so now here i am adding the pancake mixture and the fruity pebbles pancake mixture to the skillet and like i said it makes about three pancakes and you can see the fruity pebbles in there and you can't really see that the pancakes are actually rising but they are i'm and i'm also trying to show you how to know whenever it was done and it was because bubbles will start popping um and you'll, you'll just notice the mixture will start um having bubbles come in so um i like to keep my pancakes a uh, kind of light like a golden brown um i feel it tastes better that way so here are the pancakes uh just remind me of grandma's pancakes like fluffy pancakes so here i am adding it onto the plate i think it looks pretty good um they look pretty and here i am adding the syrup onto the pancakes and um, if you wait just one minute 
you'll see how it looks in the inside because I will cut it for you and I will also taste it. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. So here you go. And um, just to be honest with you, today was my first day trying these pancakes for myself. I did not try them at Cracker Barrel. Look at that. Look at the color. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Oh, I, I think I need a little bit more syrup. That's just my preference. And here I am about to take a bite. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It tastes delicious. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe and be on the lookout for more recipes. Thank you. Bye.